For the forces of tradition, it wasn't just a case of who would watch the coronation, but what it would look like. The Queen Mother was making sure that it would reflect the look that she had created as Queen. Princess Elizabeth had already gone and had a wonderful wedding dress created for her by Hartnell in 1947. And so when it came to a grand gown, which was going to be embroidered again, um, the coronation dress was obviously going to be commissioned that Mr. Hartnell would receive. The Queen really is not that interested in clothes, not like her mother who loved clothes for clothes sake. The Queen looks upon all her clothes as a sort of working wardrobe to carry out the duties for which she is the monarch. Elizabeth's disinterest in clothes gave the Queen Mother the opportunity to make her mark, as Hartnell soon discovered on a trip to Sandringham. To his surprise and rather shock, he got there and he found both the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret there, eagerly waiting to see what he was going to produce, uh, which he found slightly uh, unnerving. But uh, they were very enthusiastic and obviously ordered their gowns from him too. Hartnell would not only be designing the coronation robe. For the first time, a coronation would have a coordinated look. And the Queen Mother would also make sure she influenced who would be wearing some of these beautiful clothes. <laughs> 